early on in my career I started writing for schools. Qualified originally as a geography and economics teacher in 1977 to, to start working in school. Um, so you might wonder, you know, why economics? Well, it had been my original intention to do an economics degree. Uh, I did two years of economics until I actually saw the light. Um, and also, in those days, you had to train in uh, two subjects in order to become qualified as a teacher. And I was also qualified because of the other subjects I studied at university to teach modern studies. But I'd heard that some geography teachers were stuck teaching a lot of modern studies, and that wasn't a fate I really fancied. Um, I thought doing economics, I could probably escape teaching economics and stick to just geography. Uh, little did I know I'd end up teaching economics as well as geography and geology all together for two years. Um, I decided uh, after doing one year of geology in my degree at Univ uh, Glasgow University, I enjoyed it so much. But a year after I started teaching, I embarked on a two-year course, um, giving up most of my summer holidays for two years, and then by distance learning throughout uh, the two years, uh, in order to get um, what's called a higher ordinary qualification in geology at Dundee University. Basically, I sat the second year geology exam, and at the same time, I undertook teacher training in geology at Dundee College of Education, uh, which trained teachers at that time. So in 1978, I was teaching all three subjects in Cumbernauld. Not only be asked to teach subjects you're qualified in. As a head teacher, when I was short of a teacher, I would step in and if I felt able to deliver the subject, I would do it. So I taught maths to 14 year olds for a whole year and I stepped in from time to time with other years and I was quite comfortable with mathematics. I did a little at university. And then close to the end of my career as a head teacher, I couldn't get a business management teacher. And so I taught uh, higher grade business management for a year. Now that was pretty straightforward. I mean, I, I had an economics background and uh, my day job was a head teacher. Uh, really, if you, if you don't know about managing a business when you're a head teacher, it was something far wrong. I, I loved it, actually. I, I really enjoyed teaching that year. And the results were pretty good as well. Um, now, I always loved uh, structuring my teaching. Um, I like to work out how to structure it in order to get over the key messages, the key learning outcomes. In the 1970s, when I started teaching, there were hardly any textbooks, and certainly none for any of the courses that I was teaching. They were mostly uh, courses that had been running for a, a few years, but nobody had bothered to produce materials for them. And so you had to really write your own stuff, uh, which is a real struggle when you're a, a new teacher starting out. Um, but if you end up putting quite a lot of work into it, it wasn't much of a stretch to polish up some of the teaching materials so they could actually be sold. Initially, I started producing tapes like presentations on a variety of topics of map work, urban geography of Glasgow, lots of things like that. And I made quite a few of these packs freely available to schools through the local authority, mostly in Strathclyde. So that a lot of schools throughout Strathclyde would have had... Um, uh, my early productions provided to them free of charge by the uh, local geography advisor. Um, after doing a few like that, I then decided to start producing them to sell. And the first one I sold was in the previous slide, the New Towns in Scotland. And from that, uh, I then moved into writing scripts for BBC Schools Radio, which is quite interesting and, and quite creative. Not long, and I developed the books. Um, I was doing a national curriculum job, so I wasn't able to write books in 87 and 88, but I was allowed to edit them, and so I was hired to pick two authors to write a couple of books, and I would be editing them and working with the authors. Um, after leaving that job, uh, I was then able to uh, move into writing uh, properly. Uh, there were no further restrictions on me. 
and I started writing copy masters with a colleague of mine and these were things that could be photocopied by schools and just put whatever one they wanted through the photocopier and use them in the pupils and these early copy masters were to help them with the new forms of assessment. Uh, I then uh, again with a colleague uh, wrote two books for higher grade in 1991 and 1992 and we wrote these for Oliver and Boyd which were part of the London group. And although they were written 30 years ago they did have a section on climate change which I really enjoyed writing um, and it, it was an area that I ensured was actually incorporated in the higher syllabus because I was actually on the, the writing team for uh, the higher grade exams. The layout of the books, we wanted to make them nice and clear, lots of clear crisp photographs, uh, make the diagrams nice and easy to understand, make it visually attractive uh, to encourage uh, people to, you know, to dive into it. And uh, I think the, the design of the book was quite radical in its time. This is uh, the youthful teacher starting out. This is uh, taken around about uh, 1982, I would reckon, a uh, couple of years into, into teaching. As you can see, he's still a blackboard in use at that time. 